does jury selection stand? Well, I'll get to the latest numbers in just a moment, but remember that a lot of lawyers have criticized the lack of diversity in the jury pool here in the Eastern District. There are some problems with that, and that's why so many people have been so concerned about making sure that there are African Americans and other minorities on the jury for this particular case. Well, now there are four minorities that have made it through to the next round. Two of them are African Americans. Jury selection continues to move slowly in the Kilpatrick corruption case. Even though he had said on his questionnaire that the name of Kwame Kilpatrick is not seen as a positive for the city of Detroit, one potential juror said he could be fair and made it to the next round of jury selection. Another African-American woman made the cut this afternoon. Former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, his father Bernard Kilpatrick, his longtime friend Bobby Ferguson, and ex-Water Department Chief Victor Mercado are all charged with racketeering accused of running a criminal enterprise through bribery and extortion. One female juror who made it through said she didn't pay much attention to news of the case or the defendants, but recently overheard some young people at a Greektown casino poker table refer to Ferguson as a rock star. Defense lawyers continue to ask potential jurors about their views on affirmative action and minority business owners getting extra benefits to get contracts with Detroit, a major factor in a case that accuses the defendants of extorting city contractors. You don't want a juror who says, I'm so against affirmative action that because there may have been affirmative action, or in this case an executive order, that I believe they're guilty. I don't like them. I don't trust them. I think they're bad people. You want somebody to say, even if I don't agree with affirmative action, I'm willing to listen to the evidence and decide the case on the evidence alone. A total of 23 jurors have been put through to the next round, but they are only a third of the way through this process. Court resumes tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. And